Remember to stay hydrated. And today we are checking out a pretty badass prototype. This is the Knoll Knives Raiden. Everyone has been asking my first impressions for this knife, let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here to the channel, I review knives, EDC gear, and then a bunch of other products. So if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. Before we dive into this super badass prototype knife from Knoll Knives, I just wanted to fill you guys in on an update. Check out this background. 90% of you guys chose to go with a gray background, so I went ahead and did it. I hope it's looking really good on camera, but in person it looks super solid and I'm really digging it. Um, as you can tell on the right hand side, I did add in some accent lighting in my bookshelf. And then on my left hand side, this is gonna get modified a little bit. I'm planning to put up my nano leaves and stuff like that. Don't worry, there will be a full studio tour coming soon, probably at the end of January, 2022. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the Null Knives Raiden. This is an absolutely badass knife designed by my friend Sean over in New York. Sean has had sent this out for me to check out and it's actually been in the works for about a year and a half now. He's absolutely put his blood, sweat, and tears into it and you can just really feel how much effort he's put into this design. Now the Raiden is going to be available for pre-order at the end of January 2022 towards the beginning of February 2022. They are going to retail for about $300 and there are going to be three different variants. I'll be leaving a link in the description below so that way you guys have a heads up when these things actually drop. So to keep this video very short and easy. I'll be leaving all the technical specs in the description below so you guys can check that at any time in this video. But what I can do for you guys is do a quick size comparison. So here is the Raiden and then my custom Benchmade bug out. They are actually very, very similar in total size. The funny thing is if you're looking at the total length, they're about the same size. If we're looking at the total width, they're about the same exact size. I think where the Raiden is a little bit more bulky is going to be in the width of the handle. Of course, the blade is going to be a little bit more robust than a bug out, but it's pretty decent. Now this knife is gonna be made of M390 blade steel. You've got titanium scales. You've also got a titanium backspacer as well as a 3D machine titanium pocket clip. This thing is operating off of bearings. And then you also do have a ceramic detent ball along with a lock bar insert. This thing just screams premium. From what Sean has told me, this is gonna be produced by Riot knives. If you've ever handled or held a Riot knife, expect similar tolerances. Okay. Okay, so now the fun part. What are my thoughts and impressions of this knife? The negatives, the positives, everything to do with it. And again, this is gonna be a prototype variant, so these are subject to change. Once I get the actual production model in hand, then I can actually give you guys the full review. All right, so what were my first impressions when I went to flip this thing open for the first time? Mind you, I've been carrying this for about a week now, and I've been enjoying every single day of it, but it was just super familiar when I opened it up. It felt really similar to the Pena Mula, which is one of my most favorite knives of all time. In terms of like, you know, the backspacer, that's very similar to the Mula. It's a thumb stud deployment. You've got pretty much a frame lock with a ceramic detent ball. It's on bearings. The action is probably what really solidified my thoughts of thinking that this is very similar to that Mula. In terms of overall aesthetic, this thing actually does remind me of some of Vero Engineering's knives. So if you guys are familiar with like the Synapse, the Isotope, if you guys know what the Impulse is, it kind of feels like the Impulse and the Moolah had a baby and it pretty much came up with this thing, which is pretty damn impressive. I'm not going to lie because I absolutely adore the Moolah and then I do also enjoy the aesthetic that Vero has. And this is kind of like a conglomerated type of knife. So those are some of the positives that I have for this knife. The overall aesthetic is just super sexy. It has really nice, really cutthroat type of lines and the action is fantastic. Again, if you guys have ever held or handled the Pena Moolah, it's got a very similar deployment. In terms of closing, it's actually pretty decent as well. I think a touch of KPL will actually make this thing function a little bit better when it comes to closing and make it very drop shut friendly. I'll say it again, the choice of going with M390 is just absolutely superb and I would expect that out of a $300 knife. 
So those are gonna be most of the positives I have for this thing. Let's just dive into the negatives I had for my first impressions. And the first thing that just kind of blared at me was the overall finish on these scales. I'm not one to really love glossy finishes and this one does in fact have that glossy finish. It's very fingerprint attractive and that's just not something that I enjoy. Of course you buy a knife to use it, but I also do love taking pictures of knives. And for my personal variant of this knife, I'm probably gonna go for the tumble titanium version. The next thing on the list is gonna be the pocket clip. I know it looks super sexy and it is a really awesome looking clip, but in terms of functionality, it doesn't meet my standards. As you guys know, I wear a lot of sweat shorts, gym pants, we're talking sweats, and I just like to be comfy, okay? And this machine pocket clip is just very stiff. I personally like to have a little bit more flex in the pocket clip, similar to the one on my Anthem. This is the MXG Gear Titanium Clip. And this thing just slides right into the pocket with ease. Now on the machine clip with the Raiden, it just feels like it's gonna destroy my pants over time. If there is a different option for the pocket clip, then I'd probably resort to the other one. But of course, your guys' miles may vary compared to mine. Um, if you guys wear a lot of jeans or if you wear khakis, more robust type of pants, then this might be actually perfect for you. And I guess those are pretty much the only negatives I have for this knife so far. I really dig this blade shape. The jimping is pretty decent. I know that's gonna be revised. The overall ergonomics are absolutely superb and I really do dig it. The overall size is perfect. As you can tell, this is one of my most favorite knives of all time, the Benchmade Anthem, and is very similar in terms of overall length. I just really dig that. The lock bar is absolutely perfect, and then in terms of blade centering, it's pretty dead on. But the biggest question is, am I gonna be investing $300 into this thing? Absolutely. And I do have some negative feedback, but that's something that they can always adjust. This is Sean's first knife design. It is pretty damn impressive, and I'm excited to see where he takes Noel knives. I will be leaving a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and pre-order these at the end of January and you guys better be hyped because this thing is just so damn good. This is a fantastic design to start off the year. Aside from that guys, if you enjoyed this content, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down. I know YouTube is being stupid and you can't really see it, but still throw me a reaction there and let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.